Next, in module five, we start to look at innovation. Every business has some sort of product or service. And the truth is, unless you're developing new products or services or evolving what you do, chances are you will have competition out there that are, and they're looking to look at you and basically destroy whatever it is that you do with better quality or delivery times or service or whatever is important to your customers. The important thing to think of here is that unless you have some innovation coming through and which will really help add more value to your customers, you are putting yourself at risk basically through blind spots, through assuming that your market will generally stay the same for the next five, 10 years. Later in the marketing module, we go on something called the Pestel analysis, where we look at the world around you and how is that changing? One example with that is that since the pandemic, the ability and acceptance for people to learn online has gone through the roof. So actually the fundamental opportunity for a business like this one to help teach people around the world is now much more acceptable and accepting within the modern society than it was five years ago. The point is all of these political changes and environmental changes that can happen in the world can actually open up opportunities or risks for your business and that's what we want to kind of look at. The other two classic examples are with Blockbuster Video and with Kodak. Blockbuster, who were famously destroyed by Netflix and the online kind of streaming services, they could see that the world was starting to change away from physical videotapes that would, people would go out to a shop, rent, go home, watch and then bring back versus now it's on demand. You just press a button. But the whole point is they didn't really look to keep innovating their product uh, or service to customers. Likewise, Kodak, if you don't know them, Google them. Kodak for a long time were the world's biggest manufacturer of film. So cameras that we all have now where we take photos on a smartphone. Back in the day, you had to put physical film into a camera and then wind it on and take a picture. And the picture was quite literally captured on film. That since has moved away into digital photography. But the point is you had this global corporation called Kodak that made film and they just assumed that digital te um, technology and photography would never catch on. It did. And they essentially went bust and went out of business. But the idea is no matter where you are in your product or service or business, there will be people coming through who want to innovate and take your market share. The important thing is to actually think about what innovations do you have coming through? And then also, if you have big ambitious plans for the future, who is going to manage that project? It always takes a lot more time than you think, and it'll probably cost more money than you think but really can allocate that and make sure that your business does keep evolving for the future, but actually that you adequately allocate the amount of right resource and time to actually see it through and make it happen without this affecting your core business. So essentially, if you're not innovating, chances are someone else is and they want to put you out of business. And this section is just to have you think about the concept, have you think about actually what else for your business could you do if you have a bakery business, you make cakes and you love it, but could you allow people to order on Facebook or via text or whichever? The idea is to think through ways to add more value to your customer. What is important to the customer and actually how can you constantly evolve what you do and how it works to basically stay in business and thrive for the future.